on the Michigan Soccer Network. I watch soccer on Michigan Soccer Network. لا تنسون تتابعونه على Michigan Soccer Network. I watch soccer on Michigan Soccer Network. I like to watch soccer on Michigan Soccer Network. I watch soccer on Michigan Soccer Network. Me gusta mirar fútbol en Michigan Soccer Network. I watch soccer on Michigan Soccer Network. I love watching soccer on the Michigan Soccer Network. Back to Montreal. He'll take a shot and he'll bear it. And then he'll fire it from Bill Owens and it'll go in. Now Worrell has a good cutback from him. He'll fire one and that's going to go in. Oh, and both goals so far. He'll fire one and that's a wonderful save. Killerity, that's missed. Oh, it's Stone in the. He'll fire one now from distance oh. and that is in. What a strike by Ben Maher. All right, well, now we are joined here by Olivia Darnell here on our College Commitment Interview Series. Uh, and uh, Olivia, first off, thank you for joining us here uh, and being a part of this series. Yeah, you're welcome, of course. It's such an honor to, you know, have this opportunity to meet you today and, you know, answer some questions. So, No, no, well, we appreciate it. And, you know, so the first thing that we like to ask uh, uh, anyone that we interview is, is, is tell our viewers uh, a little bit about Olivia. What makes you tick? Um... Like, what do you really mean by that? Sorry. No, no, it's okay. So tell us a little bit about, you know, who you are, what you're all about. Like, you know, um, you're, um, you know, yeah. Um, I think I'm like a pretty energetic person. Um, I think I definitely like to like solve problems and try like, you know, like if a problem's given to me, do what I can do the best with like the surroundings that I have and like, what can I use to like overcome that problem? And I think like, I'm also like really good at like, self-motivating myself in like situations if, you know if it comes to school if it comes to soccer if it comes to you know anything in like a work-based environment um I think that's something like I'm really good at doing also so yeah well very very cool so you, you play soccer uh you just accepted you know uh an opportunity to play your at the next level division one soccer in the horizon league with Oakland University and their girls side here coming this fall when you first started playing soccer, at what point did you realize that, hey, maybe I could I could play at the next level? Um, I started playing, like, when I was around three years old, and I played, like, just, like, the little kickers, and then I kind of went, like, the parks and rec route to, like, club soccer, and I think, like, it was probably around, like, when I was, like, eight, maybe. I kind of always was, like, oh, like, I really like this. I want to go, like, as far as I can go with this. And then as when I made that switch from, like, parks and rec to club – then I realized, oh, like there's the college level, there's another step outside of club. And so like, then when like the DA was introduced to us and then now we're in the GA, like that whole path just kind of was like set up, like one of the goals that I, you know, had had from like a young age and I wanted to continue with as long as I could. So. Oh, it's, uh, it's very, very cool. So, you know, you, you position wise, wh where do you play what position and um, is is that a position you'd be playing in college or do you feel like, you know, you're going to be told to play somewhere else? Um, so I play outside back as of right now. I growing up played outside forward until like I was about 15 years old. So like you 15. Um, and we got a new coach and he thought it would have been better for me to play outside back. And they're both very similar positions. I think one thing that kind of helped me was being in the back. I have a lot more space. I can see the whole field. So it gives me more time in the ball. I can see more options. So I can play in both. Um, they are – Oakland is planning on having me play in the back, um, outside back when I play for them. But we have discussed, like, another option is playing that outside forward position. So it just gives me more opportunity on the field. So you're going to Oakland University here this fall. Um during the process, what, what was the process like for you, um, you know, of deciding, hey, you know what, Oak University is going to be my home? So I had always, before June 15th of your sophomore year, going into your junior year, my 
main goal was to kind of focus on, you know, location, division, size of the school. So I wanted to reach out. I wanted to definitely, my goal was a D1 school. Um, I also didn't want to be too far away from home. I thought that was very important. Um, from where I live, Oakland's about 45 minutes. So like, it's that perfect amount that I feel um, that I'm like not too far away. But then I also have like my family close to me. Um, that was really important. And then the size of the school, the size is like, it's not like obnoxious and it's not like too small because like, I also didn't want a school that I felt like I was going to high school for another four years. I also wanted a school that I felt like I was opening up a new chapter of my life and like wanted something slightly different. Um, and also like looking with the Oakland program, like there's a lot of goals that we have that we've already discussed like that we want to achieve and so I think like helping them achieve like the goals that they have you know winning conference championships you know winning the league so yeah making the NCAA tournament so uh, Oakland's had some very good success here these last number of years in the Horizon League um and uh, I'm, I'm sure as as you get into into Oakland here uh you will continue to add to, to their success and and I want to talk about this for a second because you know there's a lot of players out there uh, both on the men's and women's side, who are, don't necessarily know what to expect in the process because they're not in it yet um, or are currently in the process. So what advice would you give to anyone who's looking to play at the next level? Um, it is very true when everyone says, like, your process is going to be different. Like, that is very, very true. Like, talking to some of my teammates, like, some people right away know where they want to go and some people are, you know, looking at all their options, want to take as long as possible, like, for me, it was like, it was, you know, like you reach out, hear back, come watch you play, ID camp, and then like that's when the process started to pick up a lot. So, um, yeah, definitely your process is going to be completely different. One thing is also I think that was huge for me was you have to be very realistic with yourself. You know, like we all have dreams and we all have hopes and like everyone has a dream and a hope. But you also have to, like, dial it back a little bit and, like, know where you are as a player. And, like, is this realistic for me? Because if your hopes are almost too high, your hopes can get crushed and then it can unfortunately ruin the game for you. And that's not what you want. So I think being realistic with yourself is very important for the game and, like, your recruitment process. Bonus question. So we, we like to talk about food here on the network quite a bit. Um, uh, we thoroughly enjoy our food talks, um, and we like to ask our guests, you know, um, these two questions. Uh, the first one is, is what is your favorite go-to meal, right? So we you say your favorite food, but what's your meal, right? Like what, uh, what do you get excited about when it goes to a restaurant or even a home cooked meal for that matter? Um, when it comes to food. I love enchiladas. I don't know what it is. My dad makes like these enchiladas. It's like, recipe i think he just found it online or something and like they're so good i love enchiladas like my favorite thing like i'll come home and he's like yeah we're having enchiladas they're so good i don't know why <laughs> they're definitely my favorite meal oh <laughs> uh, well that's <laughs> that's good that's good and so this last one is more on the sweeter side all right so uh, we always say what is your favorite candy Ooh, it's kind of hard i think Definitely chocolates, but like specifically, I'd have to say either a crunch or a Kit Kat, just because it has that like crunchy, like the waffle like in them. Like a so crunch like, bar? No, not crunch bar. Just like the Kit Kat and the okay. yeah, yeah, the crunch bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no worries. So a crunch, crunch bar or a Kit Kat? Well, yeah, very, very cool. Well, Olivia, we appreciate you joining us here on this commitment uh, college commitment interview series, um, and uh, we wish you much success at Oakland University here uh, as you head away into the fall with uh, playing with Oakland and the Golden Grizzlies in the Horizon League. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for stopping by the Michigan Soccer Network. To not miss out on any of the action, all you have to do is simply hit the subscribe button, and that way you're notified every time we bring new content or go live. Thanks for stopping by.